YouTube, what up, what up, what up? Gas Mask up in the building, back at you with another video. First of all, thank you to all my subscribers, new and old. Same thing I always say, man, we on the road to 100K. And I'm going to just keep dropping more consistently as I, as I continue. Um, first of all, I want y'all to like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so anytime I drop a video, y'all will get notified and can check it out. And like, share, like I said, subscribe and comment. You know what I mean? That way I can engage back and forth with y'all dialogue. I'm not looking for um, dick riders. I'm not looking for yes men. You know what I mean? Whether you like what I'm saying or agree or don't like what I'm saying or disagree, whatever it is, put it down in the comments. Let me hear what you got to say. And then we can go from there, back and forth. You know what I mean? Dialogue type shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, gas mask in the building. I'm going to make this a quick one. Bobby Smurda. Bobby Smurda in the bed with, with what we can obviously see as one dude on his right eye left in the video. And it looked like, I mean, it's another dude right next to him. And he he hugged up on him, squeezing him, cheesing. I mean, he looked like, like, like Carcino said, he looked, he looked, he looked happier than a sissy with a whole bag full of sticks. That's a fact. You feel what I'm saying? And um, what's my take on it? You know, everybody keeps saying, you know, he went to jail. So you know how things can go in jail. Ain't no women around. But my thing is, Bobby was already fruity and zesty before he even went to jail. I mean, even his first dance, you know, was a little sweet. You know, then we, we you know, he come out, we see him literally twerking on stage. I mean... I remember the, when when they showed that clip a while years ago of when Bobby was first getting signed. I think it was to Atlantic or somebody, whatever record label. He was in the record label office and he was performing for all of the white execs. And I mean, he moving around and like just moving around just real different, you know, like a little bunny rabbit, you know, like there's nothing hard or gangster or G about a bunny rabbit. Bunny rabbits, yeah. You know what I mean? That's the best way I could describe it. He's like a little bunny rabbit hopping around around the room for a bunch of white execs. You know what I mean? Talking about shooting niggas and everything is like this, but then he hopping around looking all sweet and fruity, man. Um, listen, man, to each day on. Um, if you gay, you gay. You know, at this point, you know, with Obama making, uh, you know, gay marriage legal, and, um, you know, and like I say, people, not to switch gears, but people always say, you know, well, what's, I let people know that that's Obama's legacy, you know, him making homosexuality, you know, not only acceptable on a mainstream stage and making gay marriage legal, you know, that will be his legacy. That is the thing, whether people realize it or not. That was the thing that he was brought in to do, and that will be what he's remembered for by the people whose eyes are open and people who know what's going on. You know what I mean? People talking about Medicaid and blah, 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 blah. Nah. Obama will be known for the main capstone in his legacy will be making gay marriage legal. And him doing that really took us back to Sodom and Gomorrah officially. I'm not here to bash anybody that's homosexual in the Rainbow Coalition in the LGBT community. Like I said, to each their own, everybody do what you uh, feel is best to do. But um, when Obama did that, that changed not only America, but that changed the whole world forever with America as the leader of the world. You know, That really was a major catalyst. And since that happened, it's been a free-for-all. I mean, we got gay characters in children's cartoons now. We got gay books in kindergarten and, and, you know, grade school. And we got drag queens reading story time in the damn school library to little children with Michelle Obama. With Michael Obama? But that's another story. But, um, so yeah, that was the catalyst. But I say all that to say, 
since that happened, we've seen that there's two groups of people that are off limits to be talked about in any type of uh, critical way. And um, those are the J's, if you know, you know, and the gays. And uh, it's just crazy because, like, you know, black people can be ridiculed and talked about and nigga, nigga all day and no problem. You know, everything is cool. You talk about the J's or the gays and you got big problems on your hands, you know, so. And we see, you know, how those two groups kind of intertwine and, you know, they kind of run our society at this point, you know, which is why we see such a major push of this agenda for everybody to join the Rainbow Coalition, as I call it, or the LGBTQ community. Um, you know, they're pushing it on the children, they're pushing it on, you know, there's nowhere we can look in entertainment every single facet of our society we see it and it's not only um you know there but it's being pushed on us it's being forced on us you know it's being encouraged you know where soon heterosexuals i feel like we're gonna be the minority um but not to go too deep down that rabbit hole really i was saying all i had to say that you're gonna see you know we're seeing that this is becoming a pattern you got Bad Bunny kissing dudes on stage. We saw the little Nas X situation, and they had Nas basically co sign him by doing a song with him. You know, Baby came out, not Lil Baby or the Baby, but Baby from Cash Money, he came out. You know what I mean? Like, and, um, you know, we hear about the rituals. You know, we hear about the secret Hollywood sex parties where all the weird stuff is going on. And, um, you know, we hear about people selling their souls for money and fame. And um, I think it's pretty obvious at this point by anybody that's paying attention. Like, if you're paying attention and you got eyes to see that this stuff really goes on. You know, people like to say, oh, well, you know, conspiracy theory. But, I mean, just take a look around. Look at look at what's going on. And, um, you know, so bringing it back to Bobby Smyrna, you know, um, at this point, I think we should not be surprised if we see any entertainer period whether it's an athlete rapper singer uh you know like i said athletes rappers entertainers actresses actors anybody that's entertainment on tv in the movies um in a, in a high position you know podcasters you know like charlemagne you see how you see how he pushes the agenda nonstop. Uh, with him and DJ Envy. So we can clearly see that um, there's an agenda here being pushed. Um, we're clear, I think it should be pretty clear to see that, you know, um, the people who are behind this whole movement and uh, behind the agenda obviously understand that, um, you know, the rappers and the athletes and the entertainers are all, you know, today's idols. Or, 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 you know, like false gods, meaning that, you know, regular everyday people look up to them and worship them, you know, on Twitter and on social media, watching their every move at their concerts, crying and passing out and all this stuff. So they understand that if they get these people to indulge and push the agenda, you know, because really they're not worried about my age group. You know, this is about the children. You know, if they can get a whole generation of children to adopt and accept this lifestyle, then, I mean, I'm, you know, it shouldn't be too hard to figure out how that's going to affect future generations. You know, I was raised differently, you know. Um, again, I'm not here to judge anyone, you know, to each their own. Everybody got to live how they see fit. Um, but one thing we do know, if everybody joins the Rainbow Coalition, how does humanity continue to, as the Most High told us to do in Scripture, be fruitful, be fruitful in what? Multiply. How does that happen if everybody gets on board with the agenda and uh, joins the rainbow groups and, and lives that lifestyle and teaches our children that lifestyle that is acceptable and okay and the thing to do? What eventually happens to the human race if, if we all do that? 
it's something people got to think about. Like it seems seem like people not thinking about that. You know, the people of that group don't seem to be thinking about that. Um, but again, I'm not here to bash anybody. Um, you know, I'm, I grew up on the scriptures, and the scriptures clearly tell, and not to go too deep, but the clear the scriptures clearly tells us, you know, a right way to live and a wrong way to live. And uh, we see what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, once the Most High got fed up with the activities that were going on there. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I, I probably got a little bit off subject slightly, even though it's all relevant. And I might have went a little bit deeper than I probably planned to. My children upstairs are going off, but boys going to be boys, man. They Anyway, um... So yeah, that's really my take on it, man. I mean, I you know, anytime I see any type of fruity activity, I mean, we see how they got Megan and the City Girls and uh, you know Nicki Minaj and Cardi B. We see how uh, all of the female artists are you know pretty much openly bisexual, and um, so we see how that influence is being pushed on the young girls because these are the the idols that have been put in place for the young girls to look up to, at least the young melanated women, you know, the young women, women of color. Um, and, you know, we, we seeing, we, we seeing it in, on the other side too. Like I said, you got the biggest artists in the world from a, from a Latino or Spanish standpoint, bad bunny, all of a sudden out the blue kissing another dude on the stage. You know what I mean? So, um, I think it's pretty clear to see what's going on. Again, you know, not everybody has the eyes to see. You know, some people are in denial. Some people have been brainwashed into thinking this is normal, acceptable activity. And again, who am I to tell you or anybody else how to live? You know, all I know is what's, what I was taught and how I was raised with certain morals and values and principles. And, um, you know, how I saw my dad, who was, who was a, who is an alpha male, you know, you know, um, and so I was raised a certain way and I'm raising my sons, um, pretty much the same exact way. Um, and so, yeah, just to bring it on back home, man. I mean, again, we see all these rappers and we hear about all of these things happening behind the scenes. Like I said, the secret parties and the rituals and the Luciferianism and the Satan worship and, you know, the one eye symbolism, you know, everybody, you know, all of that stuff. So, I mean, we can clearly see, you know, we know that they like hiding things in plain sight. And we know that, you know, if a lie gets told enough, um, especially if it's unchallenged, it becomes the truth, you know, because perception is reality, you know, and so. This is where we're at with it, man. We have, It's a war going on, man. I think, again, that should be pretty obvious, too. It's a spiritual warfare going on. And, um, yeah, that, that's what it is, man. And, you know, people are willing to compromise themselves and their morals, their beliefs, their values, their principles for money. This is what we're seeing. People selling out. You know, people being gay for pay. You know, and the, what people don't realize is once you start indulging into that type of activity, it becomes a part of you. You can't just erase it. You can't just wipe it away. You know, it does something to you. It changes you. You know, and you, you know, I think based off what I've seen and what I've studied and what I've learned, like I said, it becomes a part of you. You start to enjoy it, you know, and yeah, it's, 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 it's some crazy stuff, man. But uh, like I said, that's my take on it. Bobby Smurda, you know, he he been questionable. A lot of his movements been questionable for a long time. Um, yeah, P at this point in the game, you know, the, you know, the economy's messed up. The world is messed up. You know, money is tight. Rappers ain't selling records no more. You know, everybody in a 360 deal, so they all pretty much slave deals. Get, you know, getting bent over literally and figuratively. Um, 
and it's becoming the norm, unfortunately. And, uh, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty sad to see that, um, you know, you, you pretty much can't come out against it, you know, um, cause they'll come after you and try to take you down just for, just for speaking your mind and speaking the truth. So, you know, we see that freedom of speech is not what we thought it was. We see all the censorship going on. Like I said, you speak out against certain groups and you're going to get censored, you know, cause this plat this very platform that we're on right now, YouTube is owned by these same groups, owned and controlled by these same groups. So they're not gonna let you come out against them. So it's not really what you say, it's how you say it. And you know, that's why I talk the way I do and try to keep it you know, keep it keep it pretty light, just so I can get my point across and people can understand, you know, my perspective and my view. And like I said, um, you know, it's gas masks all day, every day. And one thing you're going to get from me is the real. Every single time, all day, you're going to get the real and the truth and my real outlook and my real perspective and my real perception of whatever the situation is I'm addressing. You know, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Um, sometimes I might say it a little bit more raw than others. But um, I'm going to speak my mind, man. And I mean, I think that's what's lacking out here, man. People scared to tell the truth. And um, that's my take, man. So uh, shout out to the gas gang, you know, people who've been following and watching me and uh, supporting and liking and sharing and subscribing. Um, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. I haven't even looked at my sub count lately. Last time I checked, I was still like just under 100 subs. Um, so I haven't even looked, man, but it's all good. Like I said, I must, once I get enough subs, because I done started uploading on my music page, y'all see the speakers and a DJ too. You know what I'm saying? I got the turntables right here with the Serato and all that. But, um, yeah, you know, if, you, if y'all didn't know, I'm also, I mean, I don't like to use the term sneakerhead. I'm not a sneakerhead. Like that shit is like super cliche right now. Um, but I've been doing this for a long time before it became cool to have a bunch of sneakers, yo. So, um, so I'm gonna start like opening up about other aspects of my life, specifically the music and the shoes. Um, but like I said, I already started uploading to my music page. Um, check out my music page. Um, it's Valley of the Kings. You know what I mean? Valley of the Kings. Kings with a Z. Um, check me out, man. Um, got a couple videos up. Um, videos that we shot. Um, and I'm going to start posting little clips and stuff. So I need y'all to go to that page. Valley of the Kings. Kings with a Z. And um, like, share. Share. Subscribe to that page, put on your notification bell because I got a whole bunch of content, you know, videos and songs and all that type of stuff. And I would love to get everybody's um, opinion and critique, you know, and I, you know, again, I don't want to be around no yes men in real life. I like real people. You know what I mean? Sometimes I might need to get checked. You feel what I'm saying? And sometimes my homies got to keep me on point, you know, and. Um, so I just like the real man. So if the music, if y'all think it's whack, shit, say that, you know what I mean? Say that shit. I'm, I'm, I got thick skin, bro. I'll be all right, you know, but I really do this shit. But if you like it, fuck with me. If not, that's cool too, man. Let me know what y'all think. And, um, yeah, this gas mask up in the building once again with another video, um, signing off.